previously. Eye of Adam. Hey guys, it's Nasumi here and welcome back to the Cat Lady, the final part. And I just want to clarify first that um I kinda have a cold halfway. Thanks to my signers, thank you. So I'm gonna sound a bit stuffy and weird halfway at the back. So I do apologize for that, but I hope either way. Regardless, you enjoyed it. So let's go! Do don't feed the troll. I think this one is the final chapter, isn't it? According to what I see from the achievements. Where am I? Why am I here? Oh my god, it's you again. Please, no, 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 don't do that. What the? What the hell do you want? They do something wrong. Who does me? Okay, this is a very random cutscene, so we just leave it to here. Moon, shiny moon. How long will the shiny moon end? Until the black cloud covers it no further away. Oh, now we're here. Oh, it's the final showdown. Okay, so we will find out about the Eye of Adam. Let's go. I'm gonna save first, gonna save. Go. Fish tank. I don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. Just look at this door. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Wow. Let's go. Hi, old man. Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but... It just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's Eye of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't... Uh, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look. It's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years, I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself, but I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father, and I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. I'm supposed to go take it. I suppose I am. What 
is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Don't say. Take it away! Get rid of it! You must see that I don't have it anymore! Shall we open it? I guess so. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a face mask. Oh, God. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. Hmm. Oh. Also, it is from the aquarium. So it is from the aquarium. That's a basic color. There you go. That's the poison. Should be poison, right? What else would the gas mask be for? It's too late. Shit. Oh well. Oh. Shit. 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 No. Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No, no, I can't! You've got to! This is your only chance! I... no, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... Live, I can't die. You'll live and you'll be Suck happy it, again. You are. You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. Put on the mask, really? But it's okay. Susan can't die. We give it to Mitzi. That's the best choice. Not give it to no. Dad. He's gonna die anyway. Sadly. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Do it. Oh God, I feel kind of sad for Daddy. Mitzi. Oh. Think of a vegetable while I'm gone. Oh. Look at them hugging together and oh my god, that is a very awkward. <laughs> it's a very awkward position. Oh, look, we are back at the other world. Let us go. So presumably this is the last person, isn't it? We have all five people that Susan is supposed to hunt. So we got it. Oh my god, why is it blinking? Oh, this is my apartment. Why? Hi. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Why is it you one? There are still two candles left. Susan, you know how this works. A soul for a soul. And well, that's shit. it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life, extinguished forever. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I Is know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. 
You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they'd chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. Oh, that's my stalker. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Can I save? I can't save. Oh shit. What if I refuse? That's gonna suck. Holy shit. I'm so confused now. What if I refuse? No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, right? Oh. Tomato is a fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But... I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. Thanks. But I'm so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. 
His room is through that door. It's time to face it's... the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? This place for? is done. Let's do it. So limey. So before that, we shall save. Cause this is the final showdown. And we can't finish that. Final battle. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Mitzi. It's the last place. Wow, what are those faces on top? Ah. Hi. You're... You're the Eye of Adam? A pathetic wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You oh. fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your... Sad little life. Say something. Anything. This is getting Mitzi. intense. Where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum! What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? What the? What the fuck? He's typing out letters. It's gonna take a long time. It took him a while to finally how say that. How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous! How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? 
Because it's fun! I swear you say that. I bet on you. I bet on my own. My own potato chips. It's gonna take a while. Ah. Look at all the faces up there. One of them look kind of like Kojima. Okay, I don't think it's cool. Oh. We cocky now there, was it? Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. We don't have time for that shit. Cause look, they are oxygen tanks. I don't look think it's a good idea. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out. As soon as he looks at me. Oh, she's kind of dumb. Me? Look at me. Say that. Sorry. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Wow, you lied to me. No, 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 Missy. You can't kill yourself. You lied and you to can't me. kill Susan. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. Well, this is the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? Well, he did kind of went crazy for this her. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this? Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Wow, Mitzi, no. Without his father, he is harmless. Think about it for a second. I don't talk about Jack right now. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable. Stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. Well... Well, Mitzi. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. Oh. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that No, no, I you're coming too. with me. Mitzi, you're coming with me, you Mitzi. You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum. 
He's a parasite. A worthless, evil piece of shit. It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? Well, that's me. What I mean, that's your Susan. Your family. She's dead. Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never oh. wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead. Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. But that's Susan. Mitzi, you have to live for Susan. Mitzi, you can't die. I like you. I Susan care likes about you. you. Do it for me. Ho oh ho. She finally did it. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. Aren't you gonna turn off the computer? Uh, aren't you? Oh, damn it. Never mind. It's me, again, talking about Hi. my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it just like she did, and I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. the past give yourself the chance move on from here can't think clearly i can all i can do is cry my sickness does i have a cure no my sickness is not killing you can come out of this just try to stay positive you have your own life ahead of you no one else i know has to deal with this kind of pain i told myself from when i was little i will never kill myself unless can't promise that it's easy but you had you can come out of this. I'm glad that you were brave enough. I will explore to try and relieve some pressure. I shall harm today. First time in just a blah blah blah. We are all here for you to help you. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. Oh, good blue, bright sky. I woke Is up today, do... oh. feeling better. 
Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. Just you wearing the same clothes. I bet you that's Mitzi's grave then. So what next? But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine. And there you go, a good ending. Written and directed by R. Michashki. Oh hey, we're finally done. It finally ended. Finally, we're finally so done. There is to the end of the cat lady. Pretty sure these the credits, yeah. So there you go. The song was nice. So far. <laughs> Yeah, that song is nice. Anyway. So, I'm not sure what to say after this, but it was, it was quite a great game, The Cat Lady. Well, and it took me so long to finally finish this game. I think it took me like a few months Though, you know, I was really busy myself, so um, I don't think this I actually enjoyed the storytelling a lot Even though I still question quite a few points of the story I don't know, I feel like Is this really happening? Like, wait I don't know It feels like maybe this is A metaphor of what happened what really happened, like, I can't really explain, but it feels like it, like, so far in the game, it's like, it kinda happened, but it didn't really happen, but, it might be just me, I mean, it's just some really random thought I had about this game halfway, halfway in the game, so, um, yeah. I'm still confused by some others. Oh wow, why is this with this art? I'm still confused by some part of this. It feels weird. But I think that, but then it is part, like, the aspect of this game. It is a bit weird, but. Yeah. But so far, really. I really enjoy the storytelling. And. Actually, Susan is quite likable. She's always quite likable, and Maisie as well. These two, I like them a lot, and I'm really glad that I got into this end. <laughs> this is quite a good ending. I'm pretty sure the other one, if I chose the other one, then, well, that's the end of that. Well, that's the end of Susan and Maisie for good. It'd be quite a terrible ending. So, yeah, I think this end is... I'm quite satisfied with it. Press any key to live. Can I not? Well then. There you go. Finally the end of the cat lady. And I do hope that Well, anyone who's watching it. 
who still um still with me so far in the cat lady I do hope that you have enjoyed it I really do like the storytelling of this game <laughs> I'm gonna be honest but I question a lot of some of the parts in the game I don't know I'm pretty sure I did so anyway do leave a like or comment if you enjoyed it so far and well you can actually leave a suggestion of any other games that you want me to play or anything any feedback is fine you can just leave it to the in the end you can just leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it someday not instantly but maybe someday I'm kind of slow but yeah but next I'm going to play um oh the uh, hand uh, I'm going to play I'm gonna move on to play like a certain game a certain <laughs> story like it's still it's also a story based game but I think I think it'd be great this game right it's, I really really want to play this and so on so I think that is all yeah I think that is all right now so I will see you guys again in the next game Whatever it is. See ya. Bye. Shoo. Come back again later. Yeah, I've just just I've just watched Captain America Winter Soldier like this. I'm just like Cryo. Anyway, Kai Cryo 106. Okay, so I guess you need that in the place where she met the misery woman. But how the hell is she brought to reality? It doesn't make sense. Done. I can pick up the thing now. It just occurred to me. So dumb.